Please point me in the direction of the animalistic teacher who beat my daughter. Uh, uh, madam, please, uh, that's what we are trying to sort out here. If you could please just calm down. Did you just ask me to calm down? Madam Cynthia, we can sort this out. Please point me in the direction of the animal who almost killed my daughter. I have a child. Touch me. It's wrong. <laughs> Talk to me now. It's not your husband, Dorothy. Then what's it? Who is it? What is it? Is it me? Have I done something wrong? Are you in any financial trouble? You know if you're in any financial trouble, any financial trouble whatsoever, you know I can sort it out before I leave here. You know your bank account will be smiling before I leave here, if that's the problem. You know I got you when it comes to that. So tell me, what is it? You can't be in your bad mood, because your bad mood affects my own mood. I'm making effort to really understand your problem, but you're really not helping me, you're really not helping me here. You're supposed to be the man my husband is not. That's the reason why you and I got together in the first place. But really now, I really do not see the difference between you and him. I didn't drive all the way down for, for, for us to be in this kind of mood. I didn't drive down for this kind of mood. If you cannot confide in me to tell me your problem, so how are we supposed to keep having this kind of relationship? How? How? This is not fair. Well, I guess I'll just get up and leave. Well, when you're in a better mood, you can call me. Wow, mommy, <laughs> you like? <clears throat> you look very sexy, looking like a babe. <laughs> uh uh. <laughs> you look pretty, mom. Yeah, so come on, there's still time to get into one of those your dresses that fits you like second skin. <laughs> mom, no, you would be better without me. Sweetheart, I can never be better off without you. Your presence will light any room. I appreciate your patronage, Mom. But I have a lot of work to do. You should get going. We don't want to be late for Mrs. Yaya's party. Okay, I get it now. You are avoiding Toju. Avoid Toju? I have no reason to avoid Toju. It's not like there was ever anything going on between us. I just have to focus on work right now, Mom. You're artist. Yes, my artist. That means work has officially started for me. I know. Yeah. 
but you've gotten a song, a good airplay from one of the best radio stations. That's a good start. But that is just one. There are several steps that need to be taken to get money from his act. Don't worry about my career, mom. You should go to where you need to go. It's okay. <laughs> I'll let you handle your business. Thank you, mommy. <laughs> Say hello to Mrs. Yai for me. I will, darling. Bye. Uh, is Zara still sleeping? Um, I'll go check. Bye, darling. Bye, mom. Hey. Hey, girl. Hey, what's happening? Nothing much. Just thinking of kids in my mind. Oh, damn. No, it's not that. It's just I was bringing Zara over. Oh, wow. Yeah. Let me not ask about Miss Tessie. I really think she's out. You already know. I encourage her though because I thought I was staying home with Zara. But Smith just called and wants us to go over some things. <laughs> well, it's not like I've been like I've been waiting for this girl. What are you still doing over the phone? This is my baby about who take care of you. Okay, okay, okay. See you in about an hour. Okay. Bye, girl. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> is there a time ever that Miss Teresa doesn't have a place to be? Say this woman live her life now. Eh? Her age me time tiring. Is she not supposed to be that age? I'm not talking about retiring from work alone. I mean, people just retire from life, from living. And at that age, you're supposed to have fun, have plenty of things to look forward to, just leave. But there's a lot to look up to for them. I mean, a spouse, a family member, friends they met while they were growing up. So there is a whole lot of living if you look at it that way. Well, if you put it that way, I mean... But I must say, she's an extrovert. <laughs> Although, that's another gist for another day. Mm -hmm. But I really like her. Well, <laughs> as a goddaughter, I approve. Do you know that Miss Teresa actually sustained Cynthia with her textile business when her marriage packed up? Yeah. Yes. Too bad. Well, she has uh, Cynthia. And then they have each other with little Zara, <laughs> my baby. <laughs> has Antonia avenged his father's death? What? That's the guy's lifeless body over there now. Ah, that's nice. Wow. I'll spend time with Auntie Arm. Yes, you will, Z. And Uncle Enno. Yes, Uncle Enno has interesting games on his lap. Yes, he does. And he showed me one that you have to save a lot to buy a house. <laughs> oh, that's Monopoly. Yes, that's what it's called. I forgot. Mom, can I ask you something? Anything, baby. Can let me and my friend come with us on the car ride? The car ride? What car ride? Oh, I mean the cart ride you took Grandma and I. Oh, the go-kart ride. Um, I'm not sure when next we're going there, but I know you like it, so I'll try to take you there soon. And if Remy's parents let him come, then he'll come with us. His parents will allow him because his daddy travels a lot and his mom takes care of all of them and they have a little baby. Well, you see why his mom can't take him now. Because babies need proper care and his dad needs to work very hard to take care of their family. Just like grandma and I do for you. Okay, let's go to Auntie Omano's house so mommy can take care of business. Seems like a lot of artists these days, they don't know the value of their music. That's why they sign their masters off to their record labels. Exactly. People don't get paid enough for their songs. And good music should never suffer. 
Yeah, it shouldn't. Yeah. And then the money, like, I don't even think about the money. I don't like to think about it a lot. I like that you focus on your craft, but where I come in is I want you to pay attention to the business as well. I want to find how to generate revenue from your craft because, like, there are bills to be paid. You understand? And it's the pressure to pay those bills that make people remove their energy from making the music. At the end of the day, good music suffers. Very true. Good music should never suffer. That's just the point that I'm Very true. That's why I'm happy that at least I get to work with you. Because I can't just trust anybody to generate money off my music. Wow, we'll make a great team already. So, the reason why I asked you to drive all the way out here is to ask for a question. Okay. What next? First off, I have the virtual world. Online? Yeah. Exactly. For every one person who buys your song, you know there are hundreds who download it illegally. What we can do is control that crowd to your benefit. And that's where I come in. I'm looking forward to I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> then, secondly, we have branding. Branding? Exactly. You already have your savvy style, you know, all of this. And pretty much what I want to do is work with photographers, designers, stylists, just great people who are professionals in their field. So people don't just support Smith's music. They support Smith just because it's Smith. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, you have nothing to worry about. You look fabulous. Oh, wow. Exactly. All right, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Like, I'm so excited that Smith is allowing you to do this. I cannot think of anybody else that would give his music their quality it deserves. Same, boy deserves it. I know. I plan to get him on, like, simple ad spaces. Oh. And I want to use your site as one of them. Please. Babe, you know I'm with advertisers on that side. I know, please. What the hell? You're my girl, and uh, Smith deserves it. Thank you. Please help me. Give the massage. Um, come in on the all. No, no. no. This one can be shared. Mm. Fair enough. <laughs> <sighs> That's cool. Hi, Mom. I'm at almost. We should be on our way shortly. Calm your nerves, mom. We'll be there soon, okay? See you. We need to leave. Uh, yeah. Already? You know, Miss Tessie, she's already working herself up already. I know. Well, you guys are leaving already. Yeah, my house is 30 minutes away. So I need to get going. <laughs> Don't go. <laughs> All right. Let's go, Z. Bye. Bye. Bye, Uncle. Bye, Zara. Thank you, you guys. Bye. Bye. Let me see you guys off now. No, no, no. Don't worry. Just sit. Are you sure? Yeah. I love you. Let's go, Z. Bye. Love you. You never give me a hug. Is that how our friendship has <laughs> <laughs> Come on, give me a hug, bro. Tell me, tell me you love me. Oh, I love you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> Come and give me a hug. I don't understand. <laughs> Bye. God, I'm so tired. Oh. Off. We must be giving massage and foot rub and you know. Okay, massage. Yes. Foot rub, please. I know, I know, I know. I'm going there. Okay. Uh huh. Uh. Like that. Yes. Come on! Sit at home with you, darling. <laughs> oh, it was really awesome. Can tell. Oh yes, I had lots of fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, baby, go and take off your clothes so I can come and give you a bath. Okay? Can I bath myself? Oh, uh, you know what, woman, you can do that. Oh. Thank you, mommy. <laughs> Um, are you hungry? No, I already ate at Auntie Amuna's house. Oh, okay, look. So, Mom, yes. what fun did you have at the party? Oh. Mrs. Iyayi had you guys dancing Shaku Shaku. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> if that happened, no bone would have been left intact. <laughs> but someone did make that move, but... Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't see her get up until I left. <laughs> and Toju didn't even come. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, really? Yes. Well, I guess it's not his scene, so I, I understand. But you know something? As luck would have it, I had three orders for my Ankara. Wow. Ah. That is great news, Mom. And I'm so happy. <laughs> That's great news. Oh, my darling. So, how did you guys get to Omar's place? Ah, uh, I actually went to see Smith. His call came in after you left, shortly oh. after you left. Oh. Yes. We had a okay. few things to talk about and go over. Okay, so you had to take Zara to Omano's place. Exactly. Right. Omano is letting me do ads of Smith on her dating site. Wow, that's lovely. I know. It's a good space for something. Yes, you know? exactly. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh. I almost forgot. I saw Emmanuel at Mrs. <laughs> Yai's house. Um. Iman, who's Emmanuel? Emmanuel now, that one whose sister won the visa lottery, remember? Oh, tall Emmanuel. That's right. Oh, what was he doing there? I think he drove his aunt. Okay. He was the one that even came to greet me. For a minute, I didn't remember him. You know, he had had that flesh, and then, you know, with the height, he looked really good. And guess what? What? He's very much single. <laughs> good night, Mom. You should go and take off your dress. I need to check on Zara. So what did I say now? I should have known where this conversation was going. Good night, Mom. I Mom. only told you what fun I had at the party. <sighs> oh. Anyway, I had much fun at the party. Eh? Thank God I saw Emmanuel. How else would I have known he was single? And he looks to me like someone that's ready to start a home anyway. Not like those ones that will get you pregnant and then abandon you. Anytime you tell her about marriage, she starts getting angry. I, I can hear you, Mom. Oh, come on. What did I say again? Oh. <sighs> mm. Excuse me. Do you know how this product works? <laughs> uh, how can you not know, know and it works at the same time? Everything you sell here works. That's like saying I can use a hair product as a body scrub or rub lipstick all over my body. Every product here has its use. Okay, my dear. I need a product that can make my hair thicker. I see, I'm not doing now to show. Obviously. How long have you worked here? Three and a half years. Such a shame. Very unfortunate. And if you lose the job, they say the employer is wicked. Exactly. The hair alone is enough. Anyways, don't mind her. If you want thicker hair, you should go sulfate free. Less shampoo, more hydrated hair, and your hair is automatically healthier. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Bangolo, by the way. Cynthia. Very nice meeting you too. Are you a hairstylist? <laughs> no. Far from me. Um, I have a seven year old daughter. She has natural hair, and that's how I manage it. Wow, you have an angel there. <laughs> Thank My you. hair is so full. It is. Now I'm more eager to lay off weeks. This hair really needs to be. <laughs> it does. Um, you have a nine to five? Yeah, I'm a banker. Oh, I should have guessed. I know. <laughs> All day, every week. What of you? I'm a music talent scout and manager. Wow, that's yeah. relatively the same thing we do, you know? <laughs> The, the only difference is that you only manage talent and I manage people's money. <laughs> it's a pleasure really meeting you. It's such a pleasure meeting you too. Really. I hope to your voice at a, about a thicker hair. I have to get back to work. You're welcome. I know. By the way, uh, my company is launching a campaign. Do you know or have any music talent? I know this guy who I manage. He has unbelievable music. I know you're in a hurry, but it might just be what you need. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is not in the mainstream genre. No, his sound hasn't been commercialized yet, but he's amazing. Is this one new? No, it's not actually. Okay, okay. Um, you know what? Um, I would give you my card. Let me give you my card. And uh, we can talk from there. I know how this is going to work. Wow. All right, thank you. All right, very mm. nice to meet you. It's very nice to meet you too. Wow, corporate affairs manager.
Sir, thank you for this evening. No, no, it's fine. We really loved having you over. Oh, cheers. <laughs> oh, good night. Good night.